Hi guys, Mr. Hambling here. Just wanted to uh, say hello and talk to you about a couple of things uh, now that we're all fully on e-learning. Uh, I'm not sure if it feels stranger to be in my room without any of you here or uh, not wearing a mask in my own room, which I haven't done yet this year. So uh, it's, it's kind of awkward here. But anyway, uh, I'm back here at school. Um, by now you realize that we're on e-learning. Um, we're not doing the hybrid schedule. Things are gonna continue with the, the A, B, A, B thing that we've been uh, doing from the get-go uh, with Block. Um, now, if you're wondering kind of why we went to this, uh, why we went into e-learning, uh, as far as I understand it, uh, the, the reason was that we, we couldn't really go to the hybrid schedule because of staffing problems. There were just too many teachers and bus drivers, um, cafeteria workers that were, that were out sick or contact traced and uh, there just weren't enough uh, people here at school uh, to actually run the school building. So uh, here we are, this is where we're at. Um, anyway, you know that I have been out sick for a couple of days. I haven't seen you guys in some time. Uh, I am doing quite a bit better now. Uh, my test came back negative, so I'm, I'm free and clear of the COVID for now. Um, I just had a really bad cold as far as I can tell, and that's what I thought that I had. Um, but I wanted to be out just to be, be safe to make sure I didn't uh, get any of you sick or anybody else uh, sick. Um, so that's, you know, an important thing to do. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit. Uh, first of all, recognize uh, that this whole e-learning thing has sort of caught all of us off guard a little bit. Uh, administrators, teachers, um, we were, everybody figured we would go to a hybrid schedule. Nobody was assuming that this would happen. Um, but here we are, uh, and you guys should be somewhat used to this because uh, if you remember at the end of last year, BCSC went to uh, this uh, similar sort of situation. Uh, so we've all done this before for the most part. Um, we're ready for it. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, like I've got a plan in place. We've been uh, doing essentially having everything, all of our lessons online, even when we do them in person in class. So we're prepared for this. Um, things are gonna continue. Oh, we've got the bells. Uh, things are going to continue pretty much uh, just like they uh, normally did for us in class. Um, but if you haven't been used to doing your work at home, uh, that'll be the new thing for you. So, um, uh, more importantly, like I want to talk to you guys, you know, uh, about staying safe and, and, and taking care of yourselves during this time. Um, remember, I, I recognize that this can be a pretty stressful time for folks. Um, especially if this is your first time doing e-learning like this. Um, take some time, make sure you get in touch with people that you know, talk to them, even if you're not doing it in person. Um, do that whole video thing that you guys do with your phones all the time. I know you like doing that uh, a lot. So you hear any teachers say now for the first time, hey, go home and get on video and, and talk to your friends, right? Uh, so make sure you're talking to people and, and you know, still doing some things. Um, if you wanna be successful with if you want to be successful with the online learning, uh, it's important to check its learning every day. Check all your classes, like even if you don't have anything going on in there, get on its learning and just check in in your classes and uh, see, see what's happening. Make sure you know what, what is due for the day. Make sure you know how your teachers are presenting materials for you on there and kind of their timelines for getting stuff done. Uh, for us, we'll continue just like usual. I'll leave assignments open till the end of the unit. Uh, then I'll close things after the test and I'll put in one big lump grade uh, into, into PowerSchool. So uh, make sure you're getting your things done. Uh, you know how to check the gradebook and it's learning. Get on there, uh, double check, especially uh, this first day because I would, haven't been here for a few days. Uh, make sure that you've got all the work done up until today. Um, everything's all complete and, and checked off there in the gradebook. If it says not completed, uh, that means that you can take it, click on it and go ahead and do that thing. Um, like I said, make sure you communicate with your teachers, uh, not just me, but, but all of your teachers. If, if you're not sure about what's going on or what you need to do, uh, get in touch with us. You can always uh, message me on It's Learning. Uh, you can send me an email. Um, and, and if you need more help than what we can do over that, we can figure out another way to communicate and, and talk a little more personably. Um, but yeah, get in touch with your teachers if you need to. Uh, please do that. Um, it's. Uh, it's really important that, that you are checking in and making sure that you, you know what you have to get done. So I know we talked about this some before, uh, before I was gone uh, because I was sick, 
but we've, we've been talking about exponential growth in populations in biology uh, and, and in some of my other classes as well. And I know that we, we had uh, kind of graphed things out on the board and I was talking about how we can look at what's occurring right now, the exponential doubling of, of every 20 days. And I told you uh, before I was gone, you know, uh, we can, uh, if things are exponential, we're gonna see another doubling. Um, and sure enough, we have. Um, so I think you guys are starting to recognize what exponential growth means and, and why that's a, a dangerous thing when we're talking about a virus like this. So I, I, I still got this up on my board so we can actually take a look here. We've <laughs> they left this up here for me, so we'll try and take a look here. Well, we've got it. We talked about how what might happen by 11:3. Um, we pretty much we pretty much nailed this number. Uh, it was it's pretty it was pretty close to this. Um, and you remember when we looked, when we were looking back at the rest of the graph and we, we talked about how, well, those times before when we did the lockdown and things like that, they, they flattened out. They're just kind of a little bump now, right? And now here we are every 20 days doubling our numbers. That's, that's a real bad thing. Um, and, and if you look at the graph right now for our state, what's happening is we're, we're really going up like we're on track to double at a rate faster than every 20 days. So it's, I guess the takeaway is uh, be safe, um, please be careful, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, um, look out for each other, wear your masks, masks do work. Um, that's the reason we had been able to keep school open for so long because the masks are working so well. Um, if, you, if you feel sick, if you don't feel well, uh, you know, Go to get tested it's it's free there's a lot of places to do that uh, notify the school still if you're feeling sick or if you come back with a positive test um, because we're still trying to track all that stuff uh, but you know take care of yourselves take care of your families make sure you're doing okay um, the last thing that i really want to talk about is is kind of how to deal with this i know i know this is this is stressful for a lot of folks um, this may be the first time or if even if it's the second time you've been stuck at home and not been able to come to school. Um, try, try to recognize that, that this, is, this is really not the worst thing that's ever going to happen to you. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things you're going to have to get through in life. There's a lot of difficult situations in life. Um, try to look at, at, at the things that arise for you as, as sort of opportunities, you know, like I can remember the the very first time we went on lockdown and we, we, we couldn't go anywhere and school was was uh, entirely online and everything was completely new. Uh, I was stuck at home a lot and I remember uh, I, I, I taught myself a couple of new programming languages. Uh, that, that may not sound exciting to you, but uh, for me it was like, you know, I looked at it as an opportunity, you know, along with doing my regular work every day. Uh, I teach myself a little bit of something new, pick up a new hobby. Uh, you know, stay active, stay involved in things. Don't don't just just sit at home, uh, you know, waiting for this to end. Um, you know, look at it as an opportunity to, to do something new. Life is going to throw a lot of curveballs at you. Um, you. You have to take them for what they are and just kind of keep moving forward. That's really the most important thing, right? Uh, so anyway, um, I'm here for you guys, and you feel feel free to email me or uh, message me on It's Learning and I'll, I'll get, get you through this. We'll all get through this. We'll come out the other side. Eventually we'll be back to school uh, and things will somewhat return to normal. Um, but anyway, uh, take care and I will talk with you later.